Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're playing some more Planet Crafter. The newest update called Lore and Automation just hit and I wanted to show you guys some of the things that were added to it. Some things I can't make myself yet, but I can at least show you what was there. And then I'm going to go explore the new area that opened up. I haven't seen anything about it yet, so I don't know what to expect. But one of the first things they added that I can't wait to get to is a breathable atmosphere. After insects, it goes to breathable atmosphere. That's going to be great. You see, it still takes a while to get there. But eventually, you'll be able to wander around outside without having to worry about, you know, suffering for air. But in the meantime, one of the things they added was not in there. They added the air filter. Fabric, osmium, super alloy, two bioplastic nugget, and a methane cartridge. You slap it into your um, backpack gear like you normally do here, and it reduces your oxygen consumption. You can see over on the left-hand side, it shows that it's got like a down, it's like 0.8 per second. So when you're roaming around outside, your oxygen level still goes down, but it's much, much slower. So you don't have to stop and refill it as often. That's absolutely a game changer by itself i can't wait to get to the breathable atmosphere so i don't have to do that anymore one of the other things they added too was an auto crafter and he, that is down right here see it doesn't take much to make a super alloy rod and two osmium not too bad and what you do from here is it goes through and it checks the within a certain range i don't know what the range is but i have it inside my base and you can see all the chests and everything that i have in here it can pull from so the range is pretty good size there and then all you have to do is just click on this and you tell it what you want it to make. So you're like, oh, I need to make some more fertilizer. Okay, go ahead and click on that and boom, starts making fertilizer. And it'll go through and grab all the items that it needs in order to be able to try and make those. Now, how long it takes to make those, I don't necessarily know. Um, also, if it can't seem to find the items that it needs, like all of these, if there's not enough items around it, I don't think it'll craft it. So that's one of those that's like, eh, well, it's kind of a cool option there, but let's see, I make some super alloy rods. I think I can make those. Boom, got one. So I think if it can't make one, it'll just spin around in circles until it's actually done making those. I don't necessarily know exactly how that works there. And then to cancel it, you just select the little blank and you're good to go on there. But that is freaking awesome. So, whoops. So if you're having to do a whole lot of managing things like, oh, I need a bunch of fertilizer i need a bunch of this i need a bunch of that you can just set it and kind of run away and do your own thing here that's pretty freaking cool i like that one a lot something else they added now i can't i can't use these just yet but something they did add let's see where was it they added a new exoskeleton so you can increase the size of your backpack the air filter here the auto crafter here so you can see your terraformation index has to be at a certain level to be able to use these. Fortunately, I already have them unlocked, but I'm not quite sure what level it is to be able to make those since it's already unlocked. One of the things they did add that I can't get to yet, but I'm working on it, is the ore extractor tier 3. Up to this point, the tier 2 would be able to get the rare stuff out of the ground. When you put in the tier 3, you can actually select within the little computer screen there what item you want it to mine, and so it will go get just that item. Now, you still have to put it in a place where that uh, particular thing can be found. You can't just put it next to your base and have it mine super ores. It's got to be a place where those actually occur, but to be able to manually make that would be great. Then under the biomass section here, we have two more things. We have a tier five heater, which unlocks at 8.3 kilotons, an insect spreader rocket, and then a tier five drill. You can see I'm nowhere near any of those to be able to make that. They put some more butterflies in there. There's a new different kind of seed for trees. See that they've added a bunch of stuff, a tier two mutagen, a tier two beehive, a butterfly farm. So there's a bunch of stuff that they've added that I can't even get to just yet. But I just wanted to show you guys what was in there, and then we're going to, like I said, we're going to go over and go check out this new area. Of course, it's pouring down rain outside, but that's just the way it works out. Let me see. And go ahead and let me just eat you real quick. We'll top off our water real quick, and then we're going to teleport over there. Now, the new area that's opened up, there's it says that there's three, I think it says three new big secret biomes uh, that have to do with the actual lore of the game. I don't know where those are yet. I did do a bunch of flying around and looking for them just to see if I could find them. Didn't find them in any obvious spots. But I noticed that we have this little icon right here. This is not one of the colored waypoints that I set around the world. The little beacons. You can see I have some just in different places. There's one right over here that I don't know where that goes to. So we're going to go check that out. Let me make sure we got some oxygen, some food, and some water. 
Hang on, let me grab one more thing of food just in case. There we go, those fill up quite a bit. Good to go. Alright, so let's hop in our teleporter and head back over to the spore cave, the mushroom valley. And the area it wants us to go to first is going to be down here. That part I did see. I don't know where we go from here, but we'll just have to have a look and see. Oh, cool. A warden's altar. That's what this little icon is. Nice. And what do we do from there? We get the warden's key. Cool. It's got a coordinates on it here. So let's let me see. Negative 464, negative 4097. If you have no idea what these numbers are, in the bottom left-hand corner underneath your water bar, you'll see you got some numbers down there that move. Uh, one is X, one is Y, and one is Z. The middle number is your height. Um, and I don't know the which one is X, which one is Y, but you move, you can see the numbers change. So let's see if we can't go figure out where this is. 464, 40, 97. Here it is. Okay, so we have another Warden's Altar. Fortunately, it doesn't look like he hid the key very far away, so that's fantastic right there. Let's see what this opens up to. I don't think we have to wait for it to open before we can get inside, do we? Ooh, cool. Check that out. It's like an underground um, castle sort of thing, like we're in the, the dungeon area here. All right, so it seems to open up on both sides. Let's go see what this is. Read message. After all these years, all the suffering, we decided to leave our home soil, go as far away as possible to build a new home, far from the terror, far from the strife, far from them. Stay hidden and live our lives as we did for centuries. Carefully chose somewhere we could be safe, gathered the last of our kind of our biggest vessel, and on a fateful night we left, fleeing their never-ending insatiability more than themselves. A warden. We don't know what year this was from. That's cool. A little bit of information. Oh, there's one right over here, too. Uh, another okay at first we were struck by the resemblance we were almost exactly the same scientists told us it was because our celestial bodies were identical in every way so our evolution while dependent was similar in every way it was like a meeting a cousin you never knew you had brothers they even called us when they started to land on Treha. a few spaceships that turned into dozens and slowly our worries grew our main differences were hidden deep inside biologically we're identical but our minds have been shaped differently because of the fate or by nature Fact is, when we realized it, it was already too late. And now, nah. so you move to a new area. Okay, what do we have down here? Looks like we have another key. Warden's altar. Okay, so we got another key. This one's going to be at 964, 68, 174.4. This one's going to take a little bit to get to. But let's see what else we have in this cave first. Thank God we got the air filter now, so it doesn't go down as fast. Is this where we came in? Uh, I think there's... I think we came in from that way. Let's go see what's over here. See what kind of fun stuff we can find here. Oh, this is different. Oh, is that a ship? Or like an underground city? Dude! Um, is there a way to get to that? Or is it what I have to have the key? Maybe it figures out a way to get that. Check that out! How freaking cool is that? Oh, I want in there. Let me in there. Okay, so I need to be able to get to 964. That's going to be a long ways the other direction. We got to get, and it's going to be a 68, so we need to go up because we're at negative 40 on elevation. So we're going to have to leave the old mushroom cave here and see if we can't figure out where we need to go next with this particular key. So, got a bit of a trip. Let's see if we can't figure out which direction that is. First and foremost, we'll go back to this little area, top off on our oxygen and stuff before we kind of figure out which direction we need to go. And on the complete opposite side of the map, we are inside this cave where you can mine for super alloys where this door's been sitting forever. We found this very, very early on in the game, never could do anything with it. But now there's a little altar here for a place to put the warden's key. Let's crack this door open and see what's finally inside this place. I'm excited to see what's in here. Been looking at this door for, I don't know, however long I've been playing this game. Six, eight, nine months, a year. I don't even remember when I started playing this. Let's get in here and see what we can find. Okay, so far less to look at than the other place. But it's like an underground temple. That's cool. Very cool, yeah, very cool way underground. I hope that door isn't closing back behind me and this is now my new permanent home. Ooh, cool. Another uh, like underground tunnel shrine sort of thing like in the other place. It'd be kind of interesting if these two ended up linking together. 
another key. Okay, well maybe, maybe this one is uh, just to, you know, like right around the corner or something. Okay, so we came from that way. Let's go this way. As long as there's not too many obvious tunnels to have to go down, I shouldn't get lost. Shouldn't, being a huge operative word. All right, we can follow the yellow brick road. That goes down into the abyss, as does that. So let's not go that way. Oh, this is so cool. I wonder if this will lead me over towards that ship is. Dude, we got an underground city. Look at this. It's like little palaces. They got like a courthouse going on. <laughs> this is too cool. Oh, hold on. Let's light this bad boy up. Oh, we have another warden's key. Uh, can I swap you? Do you do anything if you swap? No? Okay. Uh, sure. We'll take both of you. And then I guess we'll just kind of explore and see if there's anything in any of these places. Now that I have more than one key, I'm kind of lost as to what I'm supposed to do. Okay. This building's got a lot of nothing in there. That's okay. I thought I saw some stairs on this side. I did not. I just saw a bunch of pallets stacked up. Let's go check out this building over here. This is really cool. I kind of wish there was like a toggle setting just to turn the fog off. Yeah, I know it ruins some of the ambience. If you turned it off, it'd just be all weird looking. But to make it a little easier for you guys and myself to kind of see all this beautiful architecture. Since it doesn't seem like there's any place that's sealed, at least right now, and no obvious water source right off the bat, I would definitely recommend you bringing extra refills of stuff before you run over here yourself. Oh, no, it's a message. Orbital drainage, defense device, observation log. Device is working as intended and our tests are conclusive. If ever if ever the one calling themselves humans approach this planet, it will drain the energy of their ship and prevent them from communicating. Oh, wow. Our pre presupposition is that the device will effectively reduce their efforts to approach this part of the infinitude, infinitude, leading them to spread elsewhere if they continue to do so. Calculation is conclusive. This will give us at least a few hundred years of quietude. <laughs> so these people are like, we don't like people. No people. Another long tunnel here. Secret tunnel. Ooh. What is this? That looks like a sun. Can I click on you? Can I do anything with you? Can I take you back with me? Okay. So it's like, it looks like the sun. How cool is that? That's freaking awesome, man. I don't know what this does. I can't wait. Can I deconstruct you? Maybe I can take the sun with me. No. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. I don't know what that does yet. There was, I'm sure there's more things to read or something to give me a little bit more lore. Oh, let's not fall down there. All right, so that's where we got the warden's key from. I haven't seen another coordinates anywhere. Let me run back in here and check just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I can't jump jet in here. Huh, that's interesting. You can't even use your jump jets in here. I wonder if the little device they have zaps all the power from your jump jet ability, too. That's kind of interesting. Huh. All right. Well, let's explore a little bit more and see if we can't figure out if there's anything else to this place. Okay, so it looks like right on the other side of that place where the key was, there's another path to walk on. We can't uh, jump jet, but we can still run it basically full sprint. Is that another key? Oh, no, there's a place to get a, another key. We have three keys. Okay, 1565, 109, 2400. This one's going to be... I don't know where this one's going to be, honestly. Uh, we'll have to go try and find it, though. Everything is shaking here. 1565. We are... We're not really anywhere near this. Let me go ahead and get a little oxygen in me so he doesn't start whining about not being able to breathe. You know how he is. Like, you know, gasping for air like a wussy. Um, I guess that's pretty much everything from here. Is there like a place to get down? So I ended up with three warden keys. I don't know where that's going to take me from here. I guess that's... I guess that's everything from inside this place. I don't feel like I saw anything that I missed. I got ended up with three keys. That building's empty. That There's no way in that building. Just a walking path. I will check on the ground level over here just to make sure. But no. I guess that's it. Okay. 
Well, let's run our happy butts back over towards someplace useful and see if we can't figure out where this next uh, next altar is that it wants us to go to. And I wonder why I have three keys. I wonder if that has something to do with the major underground city area. I don't know. Guess we'll figure it out. And then again at the other end of the map, we're over here past the desert area. There's the big gigantic wrecked ship. There's our house. We came all the way across this valley over here. And there's another thing right here. I don't know what it does yet, but we'll just have to see. Let's stick. Oh. All three keys. Ooh, cool. Let's bring it down the whole mountain. I'm glad I brought all three keys with me. That would have sucked to get over here and realize I needed three of them. Oh, that's so cool. I hope it's something cool. I hope it's something like really, really awesome looking. I still want to know how to get to that underground ship that's over there in the Mushroom Valley. Uh, how far am I from water? I'm not far from water. I'm, I'm doing okay on water. Okay, let's get over here and see what's on the other side of this world. Props to the devs on making such a cool little transformation here. That's cool. Let's see what's on this side. Maybe it's paradise. At least we can fly over here. We got trees, so that at least indicates that there's some sort of life. Can't get up there, but that's cool. Oh, okay, I can't jump jet here again, so they got their little anti-energy suction thing going on osmium rod cool i don't know what i'm gonna need that for i'm sure it's probably one of the new things that i've unlocked that i can't or i haven't unlocked that i can build yet lost paradise oh check this out how freaking awesome is this that's cool i like this i'm a fan i am a fan this looks awesome All right, well, let's explore a little bit and see if we can't uh, find something cool. All right, we'll start left here since there's some obvious stairs going up. Oh, yeah, I can't jump jet still. I'm going to keep trying because that's how... That's what I do is fall off stairs. I'm going to keep trying to jump jets because how I transverse this world all the time is by jump jet. So not having the ability to is throwing me off. Oh, look, another altar. Warden, you just all about the puzzles and stuff, weren't you? Okay, well, from here, can I go anywhere else? It looks like most of the pathing stuff up over on this side was at least linear. So it wasn't like, oh, you can go this way and get lost. You can go that way and get lost. It seemed like it was pretty simple to follow up here. I didn't see a lot of varying other trails that I would inevitably just completely lose myself in. So I guess down is where we need to go. Since I can't fly, I need to be kind of careful. Can I walk along the outside of you and get around to the other side? Kind of seems that way. I don't know why. It's raining. Um, here, uh, seeing this giant thing the way it is here makes me think of that song from Within Temptation, uh, Paradise. They did it with Tarja Turinen. Awesome song. Climb. Okay, well, let's look over here real quick first. Make sure there's nothing over here that we need to get. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go climb a tree. Okay, got us to another altar here. Another key. And uh, from here, can we go anywhere besides just down? I mean, there's not much over here. What are you? A common larva. I don't really need the common ones. I do need to grab some water and some oxygen real quick. I wish there was like a place right over here that you could, uh, you know, refill your oxygen. I mean, I guess technically. Ooh, there's a key right there. I need to go this way. Gently now. Don't break something. Maybe it was meant to do that way for people like me that just bail off the world. And we've got three keys again. Okay, where do you go? We'll follow you down here. First, let's run over here, grab some water. We'll top off our oxygen. I mean, I, like I said, I guess you could probably build a little spot over here very easily. Well, I don't know if it lets you build here at all. That would be interesting if you're not allowed to build here. I don't have the materials to build, so I'm not quite sure. Another note, another altar. Okay, so... Oh, you want four keys. Crap, okay. Um, let me top this off real quick so he doesn't whine while I'm reading it. Once we lived. Okay. We need another key. So let's look around, see if we can't find one. Maybe there's a whole area we missed. Oh, there's one literally right down here in the front. We got all the hard ones first and we just left the easy one. Okay, well, at least that one was easy to get. I'm glad it wasn't like, hey, by the way, you missed it in a completely different area that you should not have even been in yet. 
Maybe this place has oxygen. Oh, we need five, not four. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, well, let's keep looking. I can't count. Here it is. Nice. Okay. Not that much of a challenge. Now, if I get back up here and all of a sudden now it's like, oh, no, no, you need six, then I'm going to worry about my eyesight abilities because it's like I counted four the first time. That was clearly wrong. Counted five the second time. You better work this time. Oh, yeah, baby. I is excited. Let me in. I'm not patient enough to wait for the door to finish falling apart here. Is this the treasure room? Oh, dad, we found the treasure room. Butterflies. Here, I'll read this before we grab the secret stuff here. Once again, a calamity befalls our people. If the predictions are correct, the meteor will hit the planet in just a few days. The cities we built, the splendors we made will fall. Our arts, traditions, discoveries, and lives will vanish. Once again, the destruction is upon us. But this time, we will not flee as we did generations ago. What's the point of running away when demise chases you so vigorously? Our fate is accepted. Being proud of what we were, stayed true to our values. Our story will be disappear under the ashes and flames and dust. Like a butterfly, life beautiful and evanescent. It's time to meet our end. Aw, so they got wrecked. Ooh, bunch of stuff. A new effigy? I think this is the new one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one is. Uh, I know they put a new effigy of oh, mutagen level two. Blueprint. Oh, by the way, I didn't say it at the beginning of the video, but you use the blueprint microchip and you unlock the option. Let me see, where's it at here? In, did I put it in here? Did I make one? I don't know if I made one or not. There's a new microchip you can put it. There it is. A microchip construction menu filter. So what that does is when you equip it and you go to your build menu, it hides all the low level stuff. Like you can't see nuclear reactor one. I can't see the heater tier three, the drill tier three. It just hides all the stuff that you wouldn't be making. You just unequip it to use it. All right, let's take all of you. Golden larva, a bunch of blueprints that we, I still have a ton of microchips at home that we can't use. And uh, we don't need the one zeolite, I don't think. All the rest of the stuff is flipping awesome. Okay, what are the odds you have a teleporter around here that take me all the way back home? <laughs> that, that, that would be kind of nice of you, wouldn't it? I'm guessing that's it. As far as lore goes, they had this beautiful little city built. And then the meteors came and killed them all. Somehow or another, it didn't destroy everything. But it looks like nature's kind of reclaimed the area. Cool. Well, that's a nice little addition to the lore. I like it. Like I said, I still got a long, long ways to go before I get to the next unlock. Wait, what was that? Silk generator. Is that? I don't think I ma ever made one of these. I don't think I ever did. Anyway, I guess that's going to be pretty much it. I'm just going to make my way back home and uh, wait, wait and see if we can get some of the other stuff unlocked. But I really do like the prog progression that the devs have put into this game here. There's a little bit of lore, a little bit of story going on. They've added some new stuff to it. I like that. I'm glad that they're still working on it. So far, the roadmap that they have put out, they've been sticking to it, which is a really good sign from a dev to be able to say, hey, we're going to try and put out a major update at least every three months. And then every three months, they put out a major update. So hopefully this was at least entertaining, kind of show you guys where to go to get some of the new lore stuff here and show you guys what some of the new stuff is. But uh, we'll revisit again once we make some more progress in the game and get some more stuff into it. And in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And click the little bell so you get notified when new videos go live. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later.